when it comes to fans of something, those who are in love with the royal family are hard to beat for devotion. They love the royals, and it's going to take something really heartbreaking in order for them to gain any sort of disdain towards them. So, if you're a royal fan, stay tuned to today's video as we're going to discuss how royal fans went wild over Prince George and Charles Spencer's special connection. First up, what is this special connection? Prince Charles may have had some controversy in the past, but recently, he's been a pretty great with his nephews and their children. He is, of course, the brother to Princess Diana, which makes him a maternal uncle to Prince William and Prince Harry. Charles seemed really delighted with the way his family has grown over the last few years, as both Prince William and Prince Harry have bore children. William and Kate have three children, Prince George, Prince Louis, and Princess Charlotte. They have had a pretty significant role throughout the last few months as the Queen's Platinum Jubilee event was happening in the UK. They were making debuts all around the country, celebrating the reign of their great-grandmother. This all prompted a number of royal fans to point out the similarities between Prince George and Charles Spencer. Fans rushed to social media to comment on the likeness, with one noting, definitely a Spencer, just like his papa. I think he looks like Charles, another wrote. Even the hairline. Have always thought he looks so much like his uncle Charles. A third shared, while a fourth suggested, George Spencer, Charlotte is Windsor, and Louis is Middleton, all kind. Prince George and his siblings charmed the world with their sweet appearance over the four-day holiday. Princess Charlotte shared an adorable moment with her older brother during the closing moments of the Platinum Jubilee pageant on Sunday, when the young royals joined the Queen on the Buckingham Palace balcony. Her Majesty was greeted with enthusiastic cheers from the crowd and a rendition of the National Anthem, after which a loud smoke cannon went off, prompting an adorable exchange between George and Charlotte. Charlotte, 7, can be seen flinching after the cannon went off, prompting George, 8, to turn to her and say, that made you jump, to which she replied, that made me jump. Fans also went wild over the footage showing Prince George singing Sweet Caroline along with his father during the star-studded party outside Buckingham Palace. The celebrations for the Queen were amazing, and every part of it was just fantastic. What an insane achievement for her and the country. There have, of course, been some hiccups in the last few years, with the death of Prince Philip and, of course, coronavirus, but things went well despite it all. The Queen hit a massive milestone, and it seems like she isn't slowing down. Despite being ill, being really old, and everything else that has happened, she is doing really well. The Platinum Jubilee was fantastic, and now, on to the next one. The Queen is still very important for the country, as her and the royal family bring in so much revenue for the UK. Tourism was through the roof with the Platinum Jubilee, so it makes sense for the family to stick around. Let us know down in the comment section below what you think of all this. Also, tell your opinions of the royal family situation right now. And of course now, on to some other news. Next, three countries where celebrities have had their weddings. The first location on this list comes from a wedding of Priyanka Chopra and Nick Jonas in 2018. The two married and their celebration carried on into early 2019. They had multiple receptions all over the world because why not? Their biggest one took place in December of 2018 and was located in the Taj Umaid Bhawan Palace in Jodhpur, India. If you know the location, you would know that this palace is actually owned by the royal family in India. However, they renovated a section of the palace for events like weddings and even five-star hotels. The venue has a wedding site, four lavish indoor venues, and six outdoor venues followed up with a 15 acres of garden land and 67 guest rooms, so you can actually bring your entire family along with you. What do you think of the first venue? Let us know down in the comments section below. Our our second wedding location takes place in America and was the wedding chapel of Iman and Sterling Shepherd. Though the two were only engaged for three months, they went straight into their wedding and really showed off the money they had. The NFL star and his supermodel wife tied the knot in the iconic Beverly Hills Hotel in Los Angeles. They were surrounded by so many other famous faces like Gabrielle Union, Tiffany Haddish, and even Chrissy Teigen. This location is known as the Pink Palace and has more than 100 guest rooms. The on-site spa and these rooms really show off the location. This is all brought to life through Mediterranean-inspired architecture, which makes it one of the best old Hollywood-style locations for a wedding. For your wedding, you would want to be in one of the best and most wonderful places in the world, right? People want a romantic location with amazing views, as it's a day to remember for the rest of your life. What's better than Hotel Plaza Athene? Israel Houghton and Adrian actually got married there just a few years ago, and it looks amazing. The property has some insane views of the Eiffel Tower and a courtyard that looks straight out of a French movie. This this location is so beautiful and it's easily one of the best on the list. And now, remember when Conor McGregor and Machine Gun Kelly had a fight? One of the craziest things that ever happened over last year with Conor McGregor was when he nearly had a fight with none other than Machine Gun Kelly on a red carpet event. This was so out of the blue and out of pocket, no one really knew why it happened. If you didn't know already, both Conor McGregor and Machine Gun Kelly were at the red carpet event for the 2021 MTV Video Music Awards. These two were separately walking the red carpet when 
out of nowhere, the two seemed to have a little face-off. There were photos and a few bits of footage around this little face-off, but it seemed like both of them were aggressive. From footage, we see McGregor throw something at Kelly, probably a drink or something. Neither of them were harmed, and then they went on their separate ways after being separated from one another. This little scuffle was one of the highlights of the night and was all over the internet. In interviews later, we saw Conor McGregor talk a little bit about what happened. He stated that nothing happened between the two and he doesn't even know the guy. McGregor stated, there's no beef. I don't even know the guy. I don't know him. Who is he? This seems a little odd, as in the footage and images, they seem to be going head to head. Maybe one of them made a comment about the other and the little scuffle went on from there. Kelly hasn't made any comments on the whole thing and has declined every interview from every possible source. He seems to be keeping quiet about the whole thing. Something must be up for this to happen. Connor also made some comments about Machine Gun Kelly and his partner Megan Fox. He stated in the same interview that, it's all good. Come to the next fight. They're more than welcome. Come watch me perform anytime. I'll perform? No problem. It seems like he wants them both to appear at his next fight. Both Machine Gun Kelly and Megan Fox are known for being at MMA and UFC fights all the time. In fact, Megan Fox has been going for years now. McGregor commented on not knowing who Kelly was as he seemingly only knows who Megan Fox is, which is an obvious thing to hear. So, when it comes down to it, did anything actually happen between these two? From the very small amount of footage that we have and the various images at the event, it definitely looked like something went off between these two. We know both of them at least had something to say to one another, as you can see them talking during their scuffle. We don't know exactly what happened, but something could be occurring behind the scenes. At this point, Machine Gun Kelly is known for collaborating with some big names. This can be seen in the music itself, and of course the music videos he puts out. This could be setting up something new for Machine Gun Kelly. Maybe a music video involving him fighting Conor McGregor, or some other variation of that. This could be a huge ploy for some setup. We could be seeing some backstories play out to a large music project in the future here. And that's the end of today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed this latest video. If you did, would you please let us know down in the comments section below. It would be very helpful. Make sure to like the video, comment, and of course subscribe to the channel with the notification bell rung. Thank you for watching today's video. Bye.